Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and you're watching your very first tutorial on C programming and in this tutorial we'll be learning how we can write a C program. So before I go into that, I just want to talk about languages. So humans communicate with one another using a language. Similarly, if you want to communicate with the computer, if you want to tell the computer what to do, you gotta talk to the computer in its own language. And that language is called programming language. Now there are many types of programming languages. There is C, C++, Java, Python. But in this tutorial, we will be learning about the C language. So in order to write a C program, you need another program called an editor. And I will be using Visual Studio as my main editor. So just search up Visual Studio on Google and click on their website. And right here, go to downloads and download the community version of Visual Studio. And this should be free. So after you download it, you can open it from here. And this will initially take some time, but then after you open it, you will get a window like this. Now I want you to go to file, click on new and select project and click on empty project and name your project something. I'm going to name my project first and make sure you have a dedicated folder in which you will be saving all of your projects. So I'm going to be saving all of my projects in a folder which I made in my desktop. So I'm going to save it in this folder C projects. So select the folder and click on OK. So now this is where you will be typing your project. So first of all, I want you to right click on source file, click on add and add new item and select C++ file and right here remove the two P's because for a C program you only need the .C extension and again you can name it I'm going to name mine first and I'm going to click on add so this is where you will be typing your very first program and if you have a 64-bit computer make sure you change it to x64 at the top here and now I'm going to write my first program and I'm going to be explaining to you what I'm typing but some things are I'm not going to go into details because we're going to talk about them later on so I'm just going to briefly explain what my very first program is doing oh yeah hello world I'm just going to print this So this is my very first program and this is a very common program you might have seen it previously in your books or maybe in another tutorial. So what this is doing right here is that first of all I'm going to talk about the printf function. Now the C language comes with many pre-built functions and one of them is the printf function and the printf function simply displays whatever you type in between the double quotation marks. It's going to display it in the output screen. So let me just run the program and show you what's actually happening. So you can run it from clicking the local Windows debugger at the top here. And this is your output screen. And this right here, hello world, this is the output of your program. So you can press any key to close this screen right here. I'm going to press the enter key. So now the printf statement simply displayed this in the output. Now this right here, this is another function. And what this does is that it waits for the user to press a key from the keyboard. So if I remove this function from here, let me just remove it from here. And now when I run the program, it's going to display the, display the output. And after displaying the output, the window will automatically close. It won't wait for the user to press any key. So in order to make the output screen wait for the user, 
you can add this function right here and this will simply wait until a user has entered a key from the keyboard and so these are the two functions that are being used in my program and now this right here return zero this is returning the value zero to the operating system and this simply tells the operating system that the program has successfully terminated and this right here this my main this is called my main function and every c program every c program must have a main function and i will be talking about functions later on in my tutorials so right now just keep in mind that every c program must have a main function and this right here is the return type of the function so every function or some functions in the c language return values so this specifies which type of value will be returned by the main function and this right here int means integer that means an integer value is going to be returned by my main function and this you can see right here return zero zero is an integer value which is being returned by the main function to the operating system and now finally the two lines at the top here these are my header files and header files are simply used when you're using pre-built functions so for example i'm using the printf function right here for that i need to include the header file at the top here stdio.h and i'm not going to go into detail about what header files actually are i'm going to talk about the la them later but right now just keep in mind that the header file contains information to use the pre-built functions so in order to use the printf function you need information the, com the computer needs information on how to use this function and that information is provided by the header file so for now just keep that in mind and if i remove this from here and now when i try to run the program it will give me an error because it cannot find the header file for the printf function so that is why you must include it for the printf function and let me just write it here again include stdio.h similarly for the get ch function you need the header file kunayo.h if you do not add this line then the program will give you an error so this is a very simple c program and i hope you guys learned a little bit about how programs are written in the c language and we will be talking about it in detail and we'll be talking about some many new topics many new concepts related to the c language in our upcoming tutorials so for now let's keep it basic if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video